Yes, it's your boy RP Blemish bringing you a roundup of all the tracks that I enjoyed in 2020. Starting in January, Flying Lotus brought us Flamagra, which was littered with lots of great pieces, including Land of Honey featuring Solange. FKA Twigs also released Magdalene. Oli XL's Jet Generation still gets onto my stereo. There were a great few tracks that had features on them. Thinking of Dysomia featuring Jessia, Surrender, and Ash Walker featuring Laville in the downbeat Sanity. Dugong Jr. did a beautiful remix of Hotel Garuda's Till It Burns Out, which features Violet Skies. My pick of the month would be Kid, which features RKCB with Discover. This is one that I'm sure to be selecting well into 2021.
See you again featuring David Fincio. Jesse Lanza kicked off her amazing 2020 for releases on Hyperdub with Lick in Heaven. Alphabet's Heaven released Cielo on What Not Music. This one is Hulu. Planet Moo had an outstanding release from Conks on Pax entitled Return to Cascada. All of those super strong releases, the track that I have chosen as a highlight for February came on Moving Castle and it was from a debuting producer called Quan, a track I'm calling July. March came and brought uncertainty into the world, but the releases still dropped. One coming from Belarus, Minsk, from Meru, released on Palesi, this one's People's Lives. 
Nazar released an 11 track wonder called Gorilla on Hyperdub, this one's Mother. And Ether bravely attempted to adapt Cold Prince at the gates with superb results. Black Wax returned with this machine builds another machine on Night Owl. DJ Ends released an EP called Siren on which there's many tracks to pick from. I've selected More Beautiful, which is intriguing, pensive and challenging. Well, the whole thing for you, you know, but when somebody makes you say it, then, and it's true, then it just makes it more beautiful of a thing. You do want to go over the more beautiful? Who are you? Just me. Who are you? What kind of line do you want? Don't know. See, you won't answer me because you already know what the insight was. See, yes, you do. He won't answer me. He wants me to say it, damn it. <laughs>
April continued to wow for releases and we saw the first drips of Planets Mad by Bauer. This one's magic. Ian Chang released a fantastic nine track work entitled Belonging on City Slang. It's got lots of great tracks but Audacious which features Keizu is well worth a listen. String Theory EP was released by Lucian on escalating sounds containing 14 tracks, many gems to listen through and a brilliant journey as one piece from start to finish. Let's check out Let's Go Back, which is my highlight from the release.
The temperature in May rose and the hot tracks kept coming. Disparav 3 of 3 was released on Pelican Fly by Jamie Silk. Nomadism provided an anthemic sound. released a remix of Petricor on Division Records originally made by Tech Genesis and Quiet Bison the remix exudes magnitude and control over sounds that can be beastly moulding them into orchestral harmony an absolute must have us some upbeat steppers house head Samira dropped slow down on novel track
AWB featured Megan Levine on Never Truly Alone. Entangled Particles was part of Reality Tunnels, released by Pinch on Tectonic. This one featured Emeka. Touchy Subject released Phonetic Fanatic on Medallion Sounds with so many good pieces to listen to. This one's the all clear. June saw the rest of the release of Planets Mad by Bauer on Lucky Me. There was an accompanying video and if you haven't seen it, it's well worth checking out. This one's Home featuring Bipolar Sunshine. Philip TBC released Japan Minimal on Low Lab Records, which contained lots of collaborations. This one is Are You Hot Enough, featuring DJ Kentaro, Exist, and Hiro Watai. From sunrise to sunset, uh, I sit back on sunset, uh, I sit back in Venice, uh, yeah, and I menace, true. Girls, come, come smile, yo, let me chill for a while, true. Trying to get a suntan, trying to find out the truth. Tenka drop checkpoint on thrills and beats. Sun Crash is just one of the special pieces on there. A debutante social sport released a two sided piece, Laura and Lexa. Just Geo's As This World Burns is a fantastic garage groove roller worth picking up from down the road. Merlot also released some artistic rollers in Primed for Primal on Coil Records. And for artistry, I highly recommend that you check out Moonglades by Raven Bush. Released on SA Recordings, it's a real masterpiece in music creation and concept.
into August, which saw Hudson Mohawk dig into the back catalogue to release some much sought after and unfinished pieces. duct tape on ad hoc records. Sam Day dropped a heartwarming safe and sound on Below the Surface. And Darko plays zero two on release via year zero 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 one. RNS Records would have been proud to have released Forest Drive West's Terminus EP. This one's Void Control. An absolutely outstanding release in August by a world-renowned producer, A.G. Cook, came in the form of 7G. He released a body of 49 tracks out on PC Music, which can be broken down into seven track segments. It's an explorative, imaginative and daring mixture of interpretations, pop and electronica. An outstanding, revealing listen. September we had a release from Kingdom called Neurofire on Fade to Mind. This one is Genesis Femme. Pessimist pushed forward a masterpiece. This is the crawlers from the EP Ateo on Ilian Tape.
from Deception is a favourite, released by All Caps, taken from I Want You, released on Mr. Rock Records. Kamran released the Transmission EP on 1000 Doors, this is Take Off in Tehran. The body of work, Untold, is a highlight of the month. It's an artistic, deconstructed listen, which is filled with skill and atmosphere. Created by Sophia Lozu and released on Houndtooth, this one is Vestal Waters.
Despite the state of the world, music releases continued to come in October. Ninja Tune releasing Machine Drums of You of You. The remix Believe in You is well worth checking out. Ivy Lab had also been very busy and Fidget came out on 2020 LDN. And outstanding piece came out in October when a champion falls by a Nima drop is out on symphonic distribution.
with mood lowering nationally and internationally music was one of the few consistencies and Rochelle released Have a Great Day on Pelican Fly which helped to lift the mood Kipski also released Solidary Confinement, showing care for the mood of the world throughout the year. Kip Schwinger is a great piece from there. Turkish producer Wapi released a touching EP on To Die For called Don't Go. This is the title track. Igloo goes put forward EO or discognitate on glue. And there was a long awaited re collaboration from Kirk Spencer and Lewis Scott. They released Blocker, which is a real pulsating feel good track with influence from different continents. A nice piece of escape is Want you to know, need you to know I need, so I can just sleep, you can just make up your mind, make up your mind.
And as hoped, December brought plenty of gifts. Polarizer was released by the talented drummer Sid Rim. Plasma Audio released The Man With A Thousand Eyes by Host, which contained Pull Up as its opening track. Trinity dropped by on Disciple from the two-track release Miracle. Bonfire Records released Scro with Last Breath and Kishan made a remix of Vision by Archie and released on Ghetto Music. First name Arch, second name feels like Nemesis these days. I ain't gotta worry about tracks or replays, I ain't gotta worry about stats or retake, that's yeah. not real. Yeah, still say what I feel. This one's I Can't from Eva 808 Sultry Venom, which is another great pick. As ever, it's hard to pick your favourite gift received in December. I'm going to go with Model 86's I Don't Want to Go. So much good music released this year. Lots of it will be carried into 2021, but very exciting to see what is going to come in 2021. I'll be doing reviews with UK-based music. Have a look out for those. I'll post them here so you can have a look. (laughs) 